magnificent sight ever in any sporting competition I think I've ever seen. Charmaine Boss, she's been here before, but only as a tourist, not as a competitor. And this about as close as you can get to a weightlifting competition in World's Strongest Woman, as many times as possible. 50 kilograms, 110 pounds. So these ladies have got to be pretty useful in the back, the legs, and then finally a big push, and the arms lock, must lock out. One each. Well, as Regenberg Coleman said in the last event, it's all about strength and endurance. And this, well, it's about the same, isn't it? And Jackie Young can add balance to the list of requirements here. It's three all. Charmaine Boss just goes in the lead. Now, Charmaine Boss at the moment, 11 points in total from the events. Jackie Young has got 13. So, doing pretty well. Both women in their very first strong woman competitions. They've all done powerlifting, they've all done bodybuilding, and uh, in Charmaine Boss's case, she's also been the South African arm wrestling champion as well. And look at this, Jackie Young catching up. Can she make it eight? Charmaine Boss has gone eight, and that is a useful score. Now, come on, Jackie. Roll it up the chest. And she really is having a problem. Boss, though, if she can stay still, will get nine. Good effort from the South African. Jackie Young, I think that might be her final score. Boss desperate to get one more, but 75 seconds are up. They've both run out of time. Charmaine Boss on nine lifts. Jackie Young on seven. Let's look at that, Charmaine Boss. Nice tidy lady. Wants it back in the place where it started. It feels good. Up until now, that was the best. <laughs> the best in terms of the kick it gave you? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely, it was magic, it was really good, uh, now I've got to hope that the other goals fail. Failure is a relative term, but Sharon Waters couldn't match her total, just seven for the Australian, and Monica Porter managed just six repetitions. So the South African Charmaine Boss still in the lead with nine repetitions. Josie Monneau, nearest the camera. Terrific competitor. She's done pretty well so far, as has Robin regenberg Coleman. Equal second place with Haney Koivunemi, a couple of points behind Jill Mills. So 50 kilograms above their heads. They must stand absolutely rock steady when they've got the weight up there for the score to be given. Away we go, looking comfortable. Ooh, oh, Coleman's got a problem on that first one. Morneau has been given her lift. One. That's better by the American. Morneau one. One. going well, and she's using that split Go. technique. It's like a clean and a jerk in weightlifting. That's very, very tidy technique. Two. Looks as though it's no effort at all. That's super. Two repetitions each now, although, in fact, Coleman's has moved up to three. Coleman has had one disallowed by the referee. And another. She had to put it up again. Arms not locked. Josie Monneau going steadily, perhaps not as fast as Regenberg Coleman, but every one of those lifts is rock solid. Coleman just in the lead still. Now, above the head, has to stay steady. She's looking a bit distressed. Can anybody beat Charmaine Boss? More no, that is excellent. I keep emphasizing that, but that is excellent weightlifting technique by any stretch of the imagination, especially with something as awkward as this to lift up. She's got seven, the Canadian. Coleman has got eight. Oh, and the time has run out. 75 seconds gone. Robin Regenberg Coleman does not look happy. She had two disqualified by the referee. That could have made a big, big difference. And both the American and the coach, Tom McGee, know that only too well. Why are you not happy? Because I felt like I did more reps that were good that I didn't get counted. What, what did you think you'd done that they didn't think you'd done? I just didn't pause long enough at the top for them to count. And when you're used to doing a high rep workout with that, it's really hard to slow down. And it, I know I locked my arms out, so it's kind of difficult. But your adrenaline's pumping up there, and there are rules. I just, it's a little easy to slip up.
The last two competitors have got the distinct advantage here of knowing precisely what it is they have to beat. Jill Mills on the far side. Penny Koivunemi. One of the most popular sportswomen in Finland, can you believe? And Jill Mills going well in first place overall. Two points ahead of Koivunemi and Robin regenberg Coleman. But Charmaine Boss, still the strong woman to beat on nine repetitions. Well, that first lift by Jill Mills absolutely flew up. She's just pressing it out. Koivunemi, a little bit behind, two each. Three for Mills now. Three. This is fantastic lifting. Incredible muscularity around the shoulders, Jill Mills. Now this looks awesome. Koivunemi is going well too. Very close rivals, developing into very close friends too. When they're not competing, the atmosphere amongst all the strong women is absolutely fabulous. But this is very, very serious. Koivunemi gets seven. Mills now. Going for the lead on 10, and she's got it. Koivunemi going well, too. She's got eight. Needs one more, does the Finn, to equal Charmaine Bossa. Meanwhile, Jill Mills is running away with this. Fantastic strength. Koivunemi, does she get 10? She does.